Hello, friends. I hope you are doing well. I love you. I miss you. I cannot believe the privilege that it is for me to serve pastorally in this role. Thank you for calling me to do this. Thank you for your prayers and support. I am having an absolute blast. Now, uh, let me ask you to, to really pay close attention here to this video and to the details I'm going to share with you, which will be reiterated Excuse me. in the letter that goes out from the session uh, on Friday. Okay. Um, this coming Friday, June 11th, the state is scheduled to go into phase five with regard to reopening, which is the final phase. It's open. Uh, that's what that means. And so we are thinking, okay, we're mindful of that. We want to keep reopening as a, as a church. If anyone has reason, any organization has, op has reason to be gathering together, it is the local church because of what we, we believe is happening as the local church. So here's what we're thinking we will do. Next Sunday, June 20th, we will open this church. That means at 8.30 and at 10.30, it's going to be mask optional and no capacity. Now, um, that's a that's a big announcement. So let me just pause for a second and say, hang in there with me. Let me give you a little bit of uh, framing and context for that, and then uh, and then uh, see how we're doing. Okay, as I say that uh, next Sunday, both services no capacity and mask optional. Um, uh, there are probably roughly three different responses reactions that that you guys might be thinking as you hear that. Reaction number one, great, sounds good. Okay, hallelujah, if that's your reaction. Very good. <laughs> I'm going to set that reaction aside for just a moment and address the other two. Your reaction might be, um, Dane, but if the state is going into phase five on Friday, why would you as a church be behind the state if they're saying, okay, um, we're really open, why would you still be requesting that people wear masks even at the 8.30? Um, the answer to that is we still have the 1030. So if you would like to come uh, to a, 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 a more open service, um, then just come to, to the 1030. Um, the other part of the answer is we we just don't want this to feel too whiplashy. We want to we want to give you a week and a half uh, if you've been coming to the 830 to uh, absorb the idea that we will be opening that one up too. So we just don't want to be kind of pinging all over the place any more than we have to. Okay. Now, thirdly, some of you might be reacting and thinking, um, why are we on the other side? Why are we moving so quickly away from a a, um, a, a mask required kind of uh, option. And that's understandable. Uh, we've been in this kind of uh, uh, wearing masks for a long time. It's kind of become the new normal for many of us. Okay. The answer is the world is reopening and it is time for us to as well. Uh, we believe that there is a kind of soul nurturing that happens together, that this is how God has put the world together, together as believers in Christ gather for word and sacrament and fellowship um, that is that is fostering and nurturing soul health in a way that nothing else in this universe does. And so we are urgently eager as your elders to open back up, okay? Um, as I said, we have more reason as a local church than anyone to open back up. So, uh, so that's what I would say to you. I understand we all have different sentiments and opinions about how to go about this. And I just want to say I am so thankful to you. You have been very gracious as a church body, very nimble, accommodating. Um, and uh, I, I'm very thankful to you for the way that you have been uh, graciously conducting yourselves um, through this time that has not been easy for you and for uh, us. A couple of other details attached to reopening on June 20th. Um, Registration-wise, if you would, please register this week, but then next week, June 20th, we're going to do away with registration. We're going to find another way to be in touch with, say, visitors and to know who's coming, just as a matter of caring and shepherding for you, shepherding you. But we want to, um, as much as we can, deregulate. <laughs> we don't want to be having, having to ask you to sign up to come into church any more than we have to. It's been, a, a, it's been necessary and very useful, actually, because it allows us to be in touch with you, especially with visitors. 
but um, we'll be putting putting that to rest next week. Uh, child care. Uh, just today, Amy and I and Davey were wrestling through how do we rightly bring back child care. I don't have an answer for you. I just want you to know we are thinking that through and will, as soon as we can, begin to bring back child care, especially for those very young ages that I know it's hard for you parents to have them in the worship center with you while you're worshiping. I, I know that. Um, uh, we'll be bringing furniture back to where it has been in the past throughout that main level. We'll be bringing coffee back <laughs> in these weeks ahead. I don't know if it'll be back right on June 20th, but we're, we're setting these things in motion for weeks ahead. And so um, we are opening back up. Hey guys, what I'm going to preach on this Sunday is Romans 15, 7, which is the cap to Romans 14, 1 through 15, 7. Um, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. That's a verse, and it's it's summarizing the whole context there of chapters 14 and 15 of Romans um, that we need in the forefront of our mind as we are re-engaging. This is how we are going to conduct ourselves towards one another. We're going to embrace one another as Christ has embraced us, even if we have different opinions uh, about masks and opening and COVID and all these things. Okay, this is a very, very important verse for us to, to bear in mind. So I'm looking forward to opening that text. I encourage you to read that text and ponder. Actually, why don't you read 14? 14, 1 through 15, 7 to see what's being said there and how it applies to the current season and for us at NPC. A um, couple other details, thanks for bearing with me here, is uh, uh, the, this midweek video is going to become less uh, frequent, less regular throughout the summer just because of vacation schedules for Davey or for me or for others. And so um, I'm going to, I want this to be a permanent fixture actually going into the future beyond the pandemic. I find it to be a very helpful touch point, even if it just becomes a minute or two of saying, hey, I love you. Here's a verse we're thinking about. Here's what we're going to be preaching on this week. Um, uh, but I'll try not to make it as long as they have been, especially this one. <laughs> so I'm already past seven minutes. Sorry about that. <laughs> One last thing here. Um, Pastor Davey is going to be going on sabbatical. This Sunday will be his last Sunday here in the church building uh, for two months. You will not see him again until the second half of August. That's something that the elders have joyously um, sanctioned and uh, uh, freed him up to do. Let me ask you in a very gentle pastoral way, <laughs> not to contact him. Just let, let him be. Let, he's going to be decompressing and reoxygenating and reading and caring for his soul. He has led the church magnificently through this interim time between senior pastors and has been working very hard uh, with me these last eight months. We are so thankful for him. We love him. He is as vital a part of this team as ever. Um, and we need, we need him for the long haul. So we are saying, hey, brother, go rest. Um, uh, tank up afresh. And um, so you will not see him, even on Sunday mornings, you will not see him. He's going to be away worshiping at other church bodies. And um, and that is just a, a way of, of caring for him. And uh, uh, so there's that. We love Davy, and we will embrace him back with open arms. Thanks for listening to this longer midweek. I love you. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday as we have Will back for a second Sunday leading us musically, and I'll be preaching. It's going to be a great, great time. And then we look forward a week and a half from now to opening up both services. Jesus loves you. See you soon. <laughs>